Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So many of you may be wondering what the heck to do with your Kazuraxian invasions. When this progress bar gets filled, you're able to go and access that instance. And once you go there, you're on a separate map, which has a bunch of things you can do. It is an elite map, so the enemies here are particularly tough. But the main objective here is to get a currency called Buzz Jewels. This currency you need within your campaign store to purchase certain things like this space quasit, you need 250, or these enchantments just needing 25, and then some of this companion gear you need like 200. So ultimately, just looking on the campaign store, you actually don't need buzz jewels. You can just get this dual stat companion gear, I recommend it. Don't bother getting the buzz jewels for this stuff, it's cost so much astral diamonds anyway. These enchantments, not much point getting them either. And the quasit, well, I guess just for collections. However, there is something that's pretty useful that costs buzz jewels. When you check down here, there's a collection of merchants, and this is your buzz jewel merchant, your invasion merchant. And he's got gear, in particular, the arms and the boots to give you a massive benefit in scaled content. It will depend on the difference of your maximum item level to the rate at which you're scaled by the amount of bonus you'll gain, up to 20% damage on the arms and 20% damage resistance on the boots. And this gear costs 450 buzz jewels, so yes, you will have to be doing quite a lot of these invasions in order to get them. So what should you be doing in invasions? Well, what I recommend doing very simply, you do not even need to kill anything, is to get these chests. Each of these chests will give you a total of five buzz jewels. But also what you can do is beat up these bosses and you will need a group generally to kill them or it'll take you a lot of time and just not worth it. And once you do go and kill that boss, you will obtain also five buzz jewels. So that's the best way to obtain those jewels. Outside of that, you can spend some time just killing some regular enemies and you'll occasionally get one or two to drop for you. I just, yeah, don't really bother unless you've nothing else to do. What you want to do is just get these chests, but they have a cooldown timer. Same with the bosses. And this is my map. You can see the green dots is where the chests are. There are three of them. And where the red line or the red dot is where the mini bosses are. And there's four of them. Each gives you five buzz jewels. And there's a five minute spawn timer for the bosses and a five minute cooldown timer for the chests. Meaning each invasion, which is going to last like 14 up to 15 minutes, will allow you to get the chests three times and to kill the mini bosses at least three times each. So you can easily obtain over a hundred buzz jewels in just one invasion. But what you can do from there then is hop instance and go to another one where the invasion bar is differently filled. It could already be activated and you can check your zone. Some people will say like invasion started in a certain instance like here 14 and then you would go and you'd hop to that instance or you'd privately message that person to send you an invite so you can access it if the instance is full. And we can see our instance here is going to be activated very shortly within each invasion. Again, I recommend at least getting the chests and that's the easiest way to do this. Don't have to kill anything. You can just get all three chests without killing a thing. So it's not that bad of a grind if you can do that. Again, you might want to group up with people to kill the mini bosses because killing them solo just isn't really practical. And again, you can get this new gear. If you're a newer player, highly recommend it as well with 2200 item level. The headpiece and the armor here will depend on class, I believe. There are certain ones that will be okay. They're not the worst bonuses. And again, you should be able to get them as a newer player. All you need to do, get those buzz jewels. You can just farm the chests and get the Xoraxian marks just by doing your questing in order to get that. There is a weekly cap though of 100 via the campaign. So you're maxed out at how much you can get per week. So our invasion has just begun here. And there we go. Invasion has begun and we can enter 
the instant. This thing will last us 14 minutes actually, and then you'll get plus one more minute. So you have enough time again to get all chests and heal all mini bosses. It's just about where the group is going. So right now I'm gonna head up here and I'm gonna get my chest and there will also be a mini boss here. He's right there. So let's get my chest. Just over here, if there's enough people, we can also kill the mini boss. There should be enough people. So let's taunt him. And yeah, then let's go do artifacts. And these guys can just kill him nice and quick. With that, we get our 10 buzz jewels. There should be a mini boss nearby here as well. It rotates. There we go. And again, we can go and kill him. We want to make sure we try and get our chests. So that we can get them again. If we're quick enough, we could even get them three times in an invasion. So that's the mini boss dead. There is perhaps another mini boss who rotates here around this rock. Maybe that's actually the guy we beat up. Probably is. But let's grab our chest just here. Another five buzz jewels. And there's probably another mini boss, but everybody wants to go this way. So we're going to follow and we're going to go to the ship. And at the ship, there's another mini boss and a chest. We can grab our chest first. There's the mini boss. That's another five buzz jewels. And then let's initiate the fight on this guy. We also use our artifact. Everybody can use their burst. We can get this boss killed nice and quickly. There we go. Another five buzz jewels. And we can also kill off the remaining enemies nearby. I got another buzz jewel from that. And then it's pretty much waiting till the timer to be able to get your chests again. And you can just have a look around for more of the mini bosses. Or you can just casually kill some groups of enemies if that's what people want to do. But it's generally not really worth it since they will only give like one or two buzz duos at best, at best. So we could look around here, the circle of where the mini boss would be traveling. And see if we can run into him. Maybe some dudes have already killed him. And otherwise just go back to the chest, the first chest that we already got. So that when that does like come back the timer, we'll be able to go and get the chest. And also the boss should spawn then as well. Yeah, I can't find any of the other bosses here. So let's just head back to the chest. Again, it's just five minutes before we can interact with this again. The mini boss apparently has appeared already. Another five balls of jewels. Nice and easy. Everybody's just waiting here on the chest. You can help kill the enemies as well. And there we go, our chest is, is off cooldown, and we can pick that up, and then again, travel with the group, probably run into a mini boss, unless they've already killed him. Ah yes, here he is. Good, there's lots of people here. We got hand boss jewels again from that one. We can just wait a little bit for the chest, should be available pretty soon. Get the chest now, there's our buzz jewels, and then over to the ship. This guy's probably already killed the mini boss, so it's unfortunate. But we'll get our chest anyway. There we go. And then we can go back for the other one. We can also just defeat ourselves. We'll end up over here, which is a bit quicker to get to the other place. And we can just wait for our chest. Mini boss is back. We can kill him. Yeah, it must be just three minutes. Apparently we got 20 buzz jewels for that one. We could wait for our chest, but I think everybody just wants to go to the mini boss, so. The next mini boss should have spawned after that one. We'll just leave our chest for now because we can get those before the invasion is over. But look like only once more. So there's no rush for the three minutes. Let's have a look around for the mini bosses. We're just killing some groups of enemies. There's the mini boss. Ouch, she hurts. That's five from that guy. And then potentially we can pick up our chest. Depends on the timer. Not yet. So let's just go to the ship. Where we know there's another mini boss. We have a few guys with. I guess we can start the fight already. Another five buzz jewels. And our chests are not off cooldown yet. So let's just. Oh, I'm stuck. Defeat me. We'll end up back here. And let's go back up to get the chest up there where that mini boss was. Yep. Let's grab the chest. Then the middle chest. And then the chest on the ship. And we are pretty much done. We got all three chests three times. So that was 45 buzz jewels. We nearly got, oops, all the mini bosses three times. And that's the invasion complete. We can just go check. We have one more minute. Maybe the mini bosses respawned. No, he's not here yet. And from there, you could jump into another invasion, like in instance number 10. 
you'll probably need an invite to get there because it's full. But that's it. That's how you do invasions to get your buzz jewels. Again, the map for the locations. I wouldn't worry so much about trying to hunt down the mini bosses that are wandering. Otherwise, you get kicked out of the instance and put over here at the campfire when that's all done. So in that time of about 15 minutes, we went from 100 buzz jewels to 217. So yeah, 15 minutes for 100 buzz jewels. I guess you can get a bit lucky there from the bosses dropping like up to 20 of them apparently. But that's pretty good rates. Not that bad of a grind. So hopefully this is at least somewhat insightful and helpful to some of you out there who are a bit confused of what to do with this. Massive thank you again to all these channel members for their continued support. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.